It is not often that you hear about a cricketer who is seen driving a cab post retirement. Ivan Chatfield may be the first. The former New Zealand player was one of the most deadliest pacers of his generation. But these days, Chatfield drives a cab, finds time to play cricket and take pride in his work. I leave, um, I get up at uh, quarter to five every morning. I leave home at half past five and uh, just go wherever there's a, there's a job allocated to me in the mornings. Um, and then I normally get home at about uh, seven o'clock at night. So it's, it's quite a long day, but uh, you need to do that to uh, make it worthwhile. So you know, I work 12, 12 or 13 hours a day. Um, I always have Saturdays off to play cricket and I work every second Sunday so I'm, I'm not into the media, um, television and radio work, it's, it's not me. Um, so um, you know I'm quite happy where I am. Uh, well, I mean I have a lot of people in the car that don't know who, who I am um, and a, a lot of them do and, and we generally talk sport, cricket in, in particular or there's other people that I think they know who I am but maybe just too afraid to uh, to ask and chase uh, they've got the wrong person and they make a bit of a fool of themselves so but a lot, a lot of people I don't uh, we, we don't talk in the car at all um, I don't make a, a, a choice of uh, talking to people if they want to talk I'll talk to them because a lot of our guys um, you know we, we have um, uh, higher up the, the road they uh, go on their uh, cell phones, either clearing emails, doing texts on the computers, so they don't have a lot of time, because this is, sometimes in the taxi this is their downtime, and so uh, that's the only time they can do these things, and especially on the way home at night, uh, most of them are too tired, they've been talking all day, they don't want, they don't want to talk to a taxi driver about a whole lot of rubbish. And are you still in touch with uh, your old mates, Sir Richard Hadley and everyone? Oh, I see them now and again, um, mostly at the airports as, as they're going through and I'm, I'm there to pick somebody up. Uh, we have reunions, um, there's a few of them there today that uh, at the game tonight. Kevin Bock and, and David White in the car today um, and well, I would have had them tomorrow but I'm not working on Saturdays. I don't work Saturdays because I've got to play cricket. Uh, yes, I'm still playing cricket but um, I think the dream is gone really. I'm, I'm still batting at number 11, even at our club side. Um, mainly because I bowl and um, I'd like to give everybody a chance on a Saturday. If you're back, you don't bowl and so on. And, and we've got a lot of school kids just joined the team, so I'd rather promote them in the order than, uh, than me. My batting days are gone. See, I'll be... Uh, hopefully I can still play cricket for a few more years longer. Um, I've, I've just got myself tied up in the over-60s comp in New Zealand. Um, and uh, I could probably see myself driving a cab for another uh, probably seven years and uh, hopefully I'll be in the situation then when I can retire. 123 wickets in Test Cricket, 114 One Day Internationals. Along with Sir Richard Hadley, Ewan Chatfield formed one of the most deadliest fast bowling pairs of 80s. Today he drives a taxi around Wellington, may not have much of money, but he has still no regrets from his life because he knows that he still enjoys his cricket, not just watching it, but also playing it at the age of 63. From Wellington, with camera person Ashok Bhunot, Ati Sharma for Headlines Today.